Well, Cuomo said the state assembly outlined an expensive and time-consuming impeachment process involving weeks of hearings and investigations and months of litigation costing the state time and money it can't afford to spend. So, despite his first inclination to fight, he ultimately chose to resign and end the distraction. The best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing. And therefore, that's what I'll do. Embattled New York Governor Andrew Cuomo resigning, effective in two weeks. The announcement coming a week after a damning state attorney general investigative report accusing him of sexually harassing 11 women. Cuomo called the report unfair and untruthful. This is about politics. The governor stepping aside and offering apologies, though not admitting to the allegations. He explained that while trying to be friendly, he inadvertently acted in a way that was too familiar. In my mind, I've never crossed the line with anyone. This is not to say that there are not 11 women who I truly offended. There are. And for that, I deeply, deeply apologize. There are generational and cultural shifts that I just didn't fully appreciate. And I should have. No excuses. Cuomo made the public announcement moments after his attorney spoke out to poke holes in the AG's report. The investigators acted as the prosecutors, the judge, and the jury of Governor Cuomo. Reaction to Cuomo's announcement was swift, even coming from President Biden himself, who was among the chorus of leaders calling for the governor to resign. I respect the governor's decision, and uh, I, uh, I respect the decision he made. New York Attorney General Letitia James said, today closes a sad chapter for all of New York, but it's an important step towards justice. And one of the governor's first accusers, Lindsey Boylan, tweeted, I am thankful for the attorney general, the investigators, and all those who have pursued the truth despite intimidation and threats of retaliation. There is absolutely no joy in any of this. It is a tragedy, just a massive, heartbreaking tragedy for so many. And Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul will become the first female governor in New York state history. She released a statement saying she agrees with Governor Cuomo's decision to step down, that it's the right thing to do and in the best interest of New Yorkers. Andrew. All right, Eric. Well, what does this mean for impeachment and the criminal investigations? Does Cuomo still face potential legal charges? So obviously, one of the goals of resigning was to avoid impeachment. The state assembly had already begun that process, but it doesn't necessarily derail it. State assembly uh, uh, officials could still move forward with the impeachment, and if they do so, it'll be primarily for, uh, I guess you could say, some political posturing to show how much they are against what the go governor was accused of. Uh, but if, in fact, he was convicted, then he would never be able to run for elected office again. Now, in resigning, he's able to get that 14-day window saying he'll leave office in 14 days if they had gone through the impeachment process and he decided to fight it and stay in office. If he was impeached, he would have to leave immediately. That's before he was even convicted, just being impeached, he would have to leave. As far as any misdemeanor uh, criminal charges or civil cases, all of that is still very much up in the air. He could still face civil cases and he could still face some criminal charges. But right now we're sort of in a wait and see pattern as to whether or not that will materialize. All right, Eric, well, looking down the road a little bit, of course, nothing's impossible in politics nowadays. And if you know the Cuomo family, they're fighters, obviously. Do you think there's any room for a comeback for Cuomo? Well, he certainly was trying to lay the groundwork where that is concerned, Andrew, with the statement he gave yesterday, because while he was apologetic to a point saying that he never meant to offend anyone, uh, that he had uh, not a good finger on the pulse of what is appropriate and not appropriate by today's standards, he stood by the fact that he ultimately didn't do anything wrong and that he certainly didn't uh, do anything that raises to the level of uh, sexual harassment. And 
you know, part of his speech, particularly the latter half of it, uh, of his statement, really focused on the achievements that he has uh, made since he's been governor, uh, passing laws that allowed for gay marriage, uh, uh, passing gun control legislation, and dealing with natural disasters, and balancing budgets on time, and uh, raising the minimum wage in the state of New York. A lot of different uh, things that he's done, achievements that he's made that he really wanted to tout to try to sort of drive the narrative of the legacy that he'll leave behind. All of that kind of meant to uh, not only go out on a good note, but remind New Yorkers of what he's done during his three terms in office and possibly lay some groundwork for a later comeback. Now, whether or not that'll actually, again, be the case is yet to be seen, but he certainly was trying to leave New Yorkers with a better taste in their mouths than this report would have. What a fall. I mean, of course, we all remember watching those press conferences daily at the height of the pandemic, and uh, to see where he's at now, it's incredible. But moving on, what can you tell us about the uh, lieutenant governor who will be taking Cuomo's place in just two weeks? Yeah, Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, she actually has said, uh, you know, that she thinks he made the right decision in stepping aside. She says she feels prepared to do the job, that she's ready to step into it and ready to take on the challenges of the job. As a matter of fact, this afternoon, she will be speaking publicly for the first time since the announcement yesterday to talk about what she expects to do going forward as governor. It is ironic, Andrew, that she becomes the first female governor of the state of New York when he's leaving office based on allegations regarding 11 women. So, you know, you've got sort of that irony being built here, but she says she's ready to go. She's uh, equipped for the challenge, and we'll hear more on what she plans to do and how she plans to move forward coming up in the hours ahead. All right, Eric, thank you. No shortage of news in New York. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes. Well, you can get all the latest news and more when you download the CBN News Channel app, and I encourage you to do that today. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.